In this video, I'm going to solve another likely WASI physics practical. The aim of this experiment is to determine the angle of minimum deviation and hence the refractive index of a triangular glass prism. Without wasting time, let's go straight to the point. Now, the introductory part of the question. You are provided with a drawing board drawing sheets, thumb pins, optical pins, triangular glass prism, and other necessary materials. We will use this diagram as a guide to perform the experiment. Fix the drawing sheets on the drawing board using the thumb pins. Place the prism on the drawing sheet and draw the outline of the prism. Remove the prism and draw the normal AD. The normal is always 90 degrees to the outline. So we put a point here known as the point of incidence. And we are going to put the protractor on the outline such that this point falls on the point of incidence and this line also falls on the outline. Then we measure 90 degrees. Draw a line PO such that it makes an angle of 30 degrees with the normal. So we put the protractor on the outline such that this point falls on the point of incidence and this line also falls on the normal. Then we measure 30 degrees. And draw a line through the points. This line is known as the incident ray, and this is the angle of incidence. And now we are going to replace the prism on its outline and then place two pins R and S on the incident ray.
we want the two pins in a glass to be in a straight line then we put two other pins in their path So the two pins in the glass and the two pins outside are in a straight line. We are going to remove the prism and the pins and mark the positions of the pins. Then we draw a line through these two points to meet the glass outline. This line is known as the emergent ray. Now we are going to join the incident and the emergent ray. Then we extend the incident and emergent ray to intersect at K. So this angle will be the angle of deviation. We are going to measure and record the angle of deviation. So we put the protractor on the diagram so that this line falls on the emergent ray and then we measure the angle of deviation. The angle of deviation is 48 degrees. And remember, the angle of incidence is 30 degrees. So we indicate that one too on the drawing sheet.
So the angle of incidence is 30 degrees and the angle of deviation is 48 degrees. And we are going to repeat the experiment for an angle of incidence of 40 degrees, 45 degrees, 55 degrees and 60 degrees and obtain the corresponding values of D. So on another drawing sheet, we repeat the whole experiment, this time around with an angle of incidence of 40 degrees and then record the angle of deviation and repeat the experiment again for an angle of incidence of 45 degrees, 55 degrees, 60 degrees and tablet the results. We are going to plot a graph with D as the ordinate, that is the vertical axis and I as the abscess, that is the horizontal axis. So we draw the vertical and horizontal axis. We are going to plot a graph of D on the vertical axis and I on the horizontal axis. So we choose a suitable scale. On the D axis, we choose a scale of 2 centimeters to 2 degrees, starting from 34 degrees. So the next one is 36, 38, 40, and so on. And on the I axis, we choose a scale of 2 centimeters to 5 degrees, starting from 20. So the next one will be 25. 30, 35, 40, and so on. For the first point, we have 30 on the I axis and 48 on the D axis meeting here. The next one, we have 40 on the I axis and 39 on the D axis. 39 will fall between 38 and 40, so we'll put a point here. The next one, 45 on the I axis and 38 on the D axis. So we'll put a point here. The next one is 55 on the I axis and 38 on the D axis. And the next one is 60 on the I axis and 39 on the D axis. And we draw a smooth curve we are going to determine dm corresponding to the minimum value of d. So we draw a line here. Now we have 36 and 38. So in this box, the difference is 2. When we divide by 10, we have 0 0.2. So it means each small box is 0 0.2. Now the middle of 36 and 38 is 37. So we move one box 37.2 to 137.4 and 37.6. So dm is equal to 37.6 degrees. We are going to evaluate sine dm plus a over 2 divided by sine a over 2. And we know dm is 37.6 and a is the refracting angle of the triangular glass prism how do we get a refracting angle we are going to measure this angle so we put the protractor on the outline such that this line falls on one of the outlines and we measure the angle we have a is equal to 60 degrees so the refracting angle a is equal to 60 degrees
so we are going to fix these values into the formula and evaluate so we have sine 37.6 plus 60 all over 2 divided by sine 60 over 2 and 37.6 plus 60 divided by 2 is 48.8 and 60 divided by 2 is 30 and sine 48.8 divided by sine 30 is 1.50 and this value represents the refractive index of the triangular glass prism used for the experiment.